Hey, paper callers. We're going to talk about real-time bidding for phone calls. Now, the world's largest buyers of phone calls buy them programmatically. And that means they're using computers to make decisions on which calls they're going to buy, how much they're going to pay for them, and where their calls are going to go. So Ringba is a very unique platform because it's the only platform that you can run an entire paper call network on, run an entire call buyer business on, and automatically integrate with all of those world's biggest buyers of calls so that you also can sell your calls programmatically. Now, if you had to do this on your own, like companies had to do in the past, they would have to go invest millions of dollars into their own real-time bidding infrastructure so that they could do this. But we did that, we invested the money for you, and you can now power an entire real-time bidding network for phone calls using the Ringba platform. Now, here is how real-time bidding for phone calls works conceptually. So a caller calls, they pick up the phone, and Ringba pings out to all your programmatic buyers. And so we send information about that phone call, uh, demographic information, metadata about the call, uh, maybe the geographic location of the caller, category of the phone call, whatever information that the buyer wants, we map it, and then in real time when the phone rings, we send that information to your buyers. Now, those buyers review all that information programmatically, there are no humans involved here, and in less than a second, they return a bid, the duration of the phone call they require to pay that bid, if it's a duration-based campaign, the destination phone number sometimes, if it's a dynamic routing situation where they issue uh, dynamic phone, phone numbers to route the phone calls to, and potentially other information that's required for our platform to properly route that phone call. Then Ringba collects all of the bids, we determine who we should sell the call to and predict what's going to have the highest return on investment for you. And then the callers route it to that destination before they even know what happens. This literally all happens before the phone rings uh, and before the caller even knows that the call is being connected to a buyer. So uh, most of this happens, including all the pings and posts and routing decisions in a couple hundred milliseconds. So always less than a second. And here's what a call flow looks like when you're dealing with real-time bidding for calls or in a ping tree environment, uh, which is a, a ping post environment if you're, if you're coming from the lead gen space. And so a phone call comes in, it hits Ringba's platform, and Ringba pings out to all the buyers. Now, it could be one buyer, it could be three buyers, it could be 3,000 buyers, it doesn't matter. Our CTO comes from the RTB space, he was the former CTO, one of the world's largest ad networks. Our engineering team knows how to handle pings at massive scale in an RTB environment. And so no matter how big of a ping network you build and how many buyers you plug into it, we can automatically scale to handle that capacity. It is not an issue. And so in this example here, we have three buyers. The first buyer returns a bid of $25 and a minimum duration of one minute. And so that means that the buyer will pay $25 for the phone call, regardless of what category or what type of call it is. Uh, they're gonna make a bid on it with all that information we send them. And then once that call hits one minute after it's been connected to the buyer, they will pay for it. Buyer two returned a bid of $20 and a duration of one minute and 30 seconds. And ping buyer number three returned a bid of $18 in a duration of two minutes. And so obviously the first buyer, they had uh, the best bid. You're gonna make the most money if the call goes to them. So they win and then Ringba routes that call to buyer number one. Now if you're using our RTB for calls infrastructure, all of the other types of routing plans come into play here as well. So ping buyer number one doesn't answer the phone call or the calls dropped or there's a busy signal, we're gonna automatically go through this process again and route it to a different buyer, whether they're a ping buyer or in a normal routing plan, we're not gonna let that phone call die. So everything that you're used to with our standard routing also applies when you add a ping tree into the fold so that you can maximize the amount of money that you're getting 
on every single phone call. Now let's take a look at what this uh, actually looks like when you're dealing with a ping tree and static buyers. And so by static buyer, I mean maybe you have a direct relationship with a call center buyer that's paying you a flat rate per phone call. Uh, in this example, we'll say that buyer one is a call center and they pay $10 per phone call on a minute 30 duration. Then we're gonna say that static buyer number two is a paper call network and they're gonna pay you $11 per call uh, but only after a two minute duration, okay? And so when you set up your call tracking campaign for this and you add a ping tree into the fold, we're gonna ping all your buyers before we decide where the phone call goes to make sure that you get the maximum amount of money, whether you're dealing with static buyers, paper call networks, or programmatic buyers, all in the same routing plan. So let's run through this from start to finish. You're a publisher, or you generate the phone call uh, through one of our tracking numbers. Obviously, the consumer sees your ad, they pick up the phone, they dial, it hits Ringba. Ringba takes a look at this and sees that you have programmatic buyers and static buyers configured for this campaign. So before the decision is made, we ping out to all your buyers and they return bids for that phone call, just like display advertising, okay? And so this is really exciting because display advertising is about 10 years ahead of calls and we're starting to see a transition to programmatic calls and that's gonna create some really amazing opportunities for everybody and so that's why I'm so excited about this. But basically, again, it pings out to all your buyers that are in the ping tree. Buyer one returns a bid of $8 with a one minute duration. Buyer two returns a bid of $10 with a one minute and 30 second duration. And buyer three pings back with a bid of $12 for a one minute, 30 second duration. Now, we're also gonna take a look at your static buyers. And once all the bids are in, we're gonna predict which buyer is actually gonna have the highest likelihood of converting for you. Which one's gonna make you the most amount of money? Whether it's on a raw call or a duration-based one, all these things. We're actually gonna score all of your buyers to see which one has the highest probability of yielding a conversion. And we're gonna take that into account when Ringba makes its decision on where your call's gonna go so that you receive the maximum amount of money for that call. Now in this scenario, ping buyer three is the obvious winner because they bid significantly more than everybody else and has a reasonable duration. Now ping buyer one, uh, we don't know exactly what the decision making look like, but it has a shorter duration, so a higher probability of conversion. And so what we do is we figure out the estimated earnings per call based on previous behavior of all these buyers, and then we decide which one is gonna make the most amount of money for you. And so this is a very sophisticated and complicated process, but once you're able to integrate with all these call buyers that do it programmatically, what you're gonna to start to see is a drastic lift in the amount of money that you can make uh, per call, but you're also gonna be able to sell uh, calls in like over a thousand different categories and verticals um, because those categories don't typically show up on paper call networks because they don't have the manpower to manage thousands of different categories. And most paper call networks out there that aren't using Ringba simply don't have the technology available for them to manage this many categories. Uh, there's no ping tree in any of these other platforms out there that paper call networks are using. So they're at a significant disadvantage to a Ringba customer because the world's largest buyers of calls do it this way. And again, the reason they do it this way is so that they can manage call flows across thousands of different verticals without having any humans in the process. And that means everyone makes more money and it creates a lot of opportunities for anyone involved. Now, if you're a Ringba customer watching this, make sure you talk to your account managers. They're gonna be able to fast track you in to all these programmatic buyers that, again, are the biggest in the world. So we can open up massive opportunities for you that none of our competitors can simply because we have better technology and really good relationships with all the programmatic buyers of calls. So again, talk to your account managers, they'll help you out. 
If you'd like more information about how this works, please see our training videos. and It'll walk you through how to configure your ping tree and do all that type of stuff. Now, if you're in the paper call space right now and you're not working with programmatic buyers, I highly recommend you do it because this is the direction that the industry is actually heading in. And right now, if you get into the programmatic space for calls, you're on the forefront of it. So you're going to be faster to market. You're going to be uh, closer up on the adoption curve to where people make the most money with it before everyone realizes that if they're not in programmatic calls, they're basically screwed if they want to build a really big business in the call space. So I highly recommend that you understand how this works, what it does, and start to look at programmatic call buying and selling as the future of your business. Because I passionately believe that. This is where the industry is going, and we definitely put our money where our mouth is because we spent millions of dollars building flexible, programmatic call buying and selling infrastructure for our clients. So check it out; uh, you can make a lot of money with this stuff.